Hello everybody, Smocks here from Celebrant Quest and today we are playing Stranded Alien Dawn. Um, on Steam this game says that it's a planet survival sim placing the fate of a small marooned group in your hands. You forge your story through compelling and immersive strategic gameplay as you make vital decisions to protect your survivors. I thought it sounded pretty good, so we're going to give it a go. This is a blind playthrough of this game. Um, I have absolutely no clue about it, but it looks awesome. So let's get into it. We recommend new players complete the game basics tutorial before anything else as this introduces everything you need to get started. Um, Alright sure why not let's do the tutorial. This is a really pretty wallpaper here. Very beautiful. Okay. Welcome to Stranded Alien Dawn. In this first tutorial, you will learn how to interact with the unknown environment and set up a simple camp. You will take your first steps into research and crafting as well. Ready to take control over the fate of your survivors and guide them to salvation? Let's get started by mastering the camera controls. Oh god. Alright. WASD. Gosh. I, I hate the... when they do... What do you mean? Oh, like this? Alright, collecting resources. You can interact with objects in the world by selecting them and using the actions on the right of the info panel. Okay, you can also use right mouse button to hover over an object. For a menu with all currently available actions for it. Okay. We got Connor. We got Mackie. And we've got Rakar. Alright. So select the landing pod. Okay, use the scavenge action. Alright, mark a bush for cutting and mark a tree for cutting. Okay, so here's a tree. Let's cut that. And where's a bush? Is that a bush? No, that's a tree. Here's a bush. There we go, cut that down. Pause the game. Oops. <laughs> Use the HUD button on the upper left or the space key. Increase the game speed. Use the HUD buttons or the plus key or minus key. I may as well just use the HUD buttons. Okay, collect five sticks and collect five wood. So who's doing this? So Mackie is doing that. What's Rakar doing? He's doing nothing at the moment. Oh, he's the master builder. Can I get him to move? No, I can't. Maybe later. Alrighty. Activate the resources bar. You can see all your resources in the resources bar. Okay. Build a basic camp where your survivors can sleep and work in relative protection from the elements. Okay, this looks good. Use the already collected resources to construct a shelter, some simple sleeping spots, and a campfire, which will provide light during the dark hours and heat up a uh, heat to warm up the survivors if it gets cold. Take note, if the construction info panel on the left of the screen, it, it contains useful hints. Okay. Alright. So you're doing your thing. He's scavenging all that stuff. Do I have to tell them to get it? It doesn't look like it. Alright, camp. Let's do a basic shelter. It's scrap metal. Oh, it's on a grid. Um, Do I want it to be near this thing? I'm not sure. Um, let's do, can I rotate this? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There's our shelter. 
place a scrap metal shelter. Great. Okay. Oh, I see. So you're bringing the scrap metal over. What are you doing, Mackie? Maybe you should go and stand a little bit. Oh, I can move them. Okay. Oh, there's some logs on the ground. Are you constructing this or not? Oh, Mackie constructs the shelter, got you. But I thought Rakar was the master builder. Okay, I don't know. Oh, he has a gloomy personality? Okay, what about her? She rests twice as slow. Connor occasionally imitates others, making them feel unease. Oh my gosh, that's not nice. Let's go a bit faster. Alright. But it has no top on it. Open the camp menu. Select the plate and place sleeping bag spots inside the shelter. Sleeping bag slots. <laughs> I meant sleeping spots. Alright, let's do this. So let's rotate them like this. There we go. And oh, I have to. I'll we'll have to hold the shift key. Okay, that's better. I was going to say that's going to be tedious. There we go. This guy is just really useless at the moment. Place a campfire near the sleeping spots. Okay. Standard campfire. Oh, he's transporting the scrap metal. I guess we need it for the campfire. Speed up a little. What's he doing? Oh, he's bringing over some of the sticks or something, maybe? Oh, cool. Okay, keeping your resources close to the camp will speed up the future constructions. You need to build a stockpile. Okay. Stockpiles are the only ones that can store large construction materials such as wood or stone. Okay. Need to put a stockpile under the roof. In this case, shelter. Right. So build a, a shelter close to the first one. Okay. Oops. Let's build that there. You can copy already existing constructions by selecting them and using the copy. Oh, I didn't didn't read that. <laughs> oh, I see. This one here, copy. Yep. Gosh, look at the world around. There's like all these alien kind of life forms, twisted plant, etc. Why don't you go and cut some stuff down while you're just standing there, ma'am? Okay, storage. So place a stock pile of two tiles on one, si on one side under the roof. Well, how do I know what the roof is? There's no roof on it. Let's just trust the process. <laughs> is that what you want? Yeah, that one and another one. Okay, place a stockpile of two tiles opposite the first. Store resources in the stockpiles. I think they want me to do another one. There we go. Two tiles opposite the first. Oh, hang on. Obstructed access to another device. Okay. Okay, that's... Why is that obstructed, but that's not? Two tiles opposite the first. Oh my gosh, am I... Am I silly? Why can you not do it? Sleep and rest. Okay, they get tired. Their default work is uh, from twenty one uh, ends at twenty one hundred, so they'll start looking for a meal, relaxation, and going to bed at night. Okay. 
I don't understand how I'm supposed to place a stockpile opposite the first when that didn't work. Can I delete these and start again? Empty and deconstruct. Yes, that's what I want to do. Oh, there's no alternative shelter. Well, let's make another one and do this again. Where are we going? Taking a walk. Why would you walk so far from camp? We're gonna have to go get some more of those, um, like there's mushrooms and everything over there. I wonder if we'll have enough metal to make this other hut. Probably not, I'm not sure. Okay, research and observations. Everything on this planet is new to your survivors. Okay, you have to observe them. All right. And you also have research. Select orange mushrooms. They're over here. So we need to observe them. Build a research desk close to the shelters. It is located in the science menu. Research desk. Scrap metal. Uh, can we build it outside? We can. We need to manage the research menu. Ah, I see. Research. And cube weaponsmithing. Okay, where is weaponsmithing? There it is. Beautiful. Complete the observation and complete the research. Okay. Too easy. What are the boys doing? Oh, he's observing that. And he's doing the scavenging. That's cool. I like that. Oh, a glitter cap? Ah, oh, okay. They're still slightly poisonous if they're consumed raw. Oh, crafting. It's time to get crafting. Okay, build a workbench. Okay. Let's build a workbench. Okay, orders, harvest. Have us at least 20 glitter caps. Okay. Do those. And build a workbench. All right. Production. Yep, that would make sense. Workbench. There we go. Let's put that right next to the research bench. Select the workbench and add a healing balm to the task. Healing balm. Okay. Set the production unit to 10. All right. There we go. What are they going to use for that? Oh, the glitter caps got you. I like how they've got different personalities and everything, these guys. He shoots twice as fast with ranged weapons. She has a natural curiosity. Very cool. Um, set the production to until 10. Yes, I did that, didn't I? Oh god, we're waiting on them. Do I need to maybe get some more glow caps? 
glue cups, my bad. Um, can I not pick them up? They're already set for harvest, are they not? Maybe they're not. Alright, set them for harvest, please. And that one as well. There we go. I wonder if we can observe anything else while we're here. Yeah, let's observe that one. And a rock, let's do that one too, why not? There's some cloth there. I might need to make another... Hmm, oh, I could make another storage thing just under here. Stockpile. Let's try that. I'm just throwing this stuff on the ground. <laughs> With this setting, the survivors will craft until there are 10 healing bombs in the stock. When that number is reached, the production will pause. When the stock drops below 10, the production will be reactivated. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, nice. Am I still researching weaponsmithing? I wonder how... Wait, are we still researching it? Or did it already... Must have been... Oh, researched weaponsmithing. My bad. <laughs> Look at you having some meals. Where are where's our food in here? Oh, is that those little containers? Emergency rations. Alright. There we go. Probably should make sure the cloth gets under there too. So you guys are observing. Very good. Is that something different as well? It's hard to tell. Broadleaf, we haven't... Oh, an ore deposit, that's cool. We haven't mined it yet. Oh, what's this orange grass? Tall grass, let's observe that too. I'm just going to observe everything. <laughs> cloth blossom. Oh, it harvests for cloth. Got you, okay, cool. Broadleaf bush. Big bush for sticks. Okay, cool. I wonder if I can just order them to just harvest this. Yeah, why can't I order them to harvest that one? Oh, because it needs to be cut. What about this one with the... It's got like orange flowers. It's a cloth blossom, is it? Okay. Oh my god, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, so we're just waiting on the healing bomb now. Uh, I might have to find some more mushrooms actually. What are they? A tube plant? Um, need more mushrooms because... Yeah, we've run out, so... <laughs> You could observe all of those things, that'd be great. Some more cloth plants over here. This is a long way from camp though. Come on, we better hurry up. This crafting, um, crafting tutorial section is a bit tedious. Oh, until 10. Oh my god. Alright, that makes more sense. My bad. That was user error after all. Add a short bow task to the craft weapons action. Okay, how do I do that? 
craft weapons, short bow, forbid the use of synthetic textiles. Okay, go back to the main info panel and move the short bow task to the top of the production list. Well done, good job completing the first tutorial. Now you know how to set up a basic camp, carry out the research and craft new items. If you're ready for the next step, you can jump into the heart heat of battle with the co combat and healing tutorial. Yep, let's do it. I think I'm going to like this game. Ah, oh, Survivor Mackie has gotten sick, but you haven't got the right medicine. Okay. Let's deal with the combat situation first. Check the skills of all survivors and find the best one for the job and equip them with a weapon. Okay, so pause the game to give yourself some time. Oh my gosh, where are the aggressive animals? Eee, they're bugs. Okay. Alright. Do I still have my camp from before? No. Yes, sort of. A little different. Oh, I see how you've set it up. Right. Okay, so Connor, what do you do? You shoot, shoot twice as fast with ranged weapons. He's interested in combat. Select Raka. Oh, sorry, Raka. And open the skills tab. He's not very good at combat. Um, inventory. Okay, have Connor selected, open the inventory tab, select the melee weapon slot. Oh, he gets a crude spear, sounds good. Unpause the game and wait for him to get the spear. He looks like he's the one who's going to go into to battle. Okay, now that Connor is combat ready, it's up to you to lead him into battle. Alright. You will do this by taking direct controls over him through the draft action, which allows you to tell him where to go and what to attack. Okay. Okay, survivors that are not drafted will flee. Okay. So, let's see, I need to... Where are the aggressive animals again? They're not even here. Oh, there they are. So, select Connor and use the draft action. Order Connor to move. Use right mouse button to indicate where you want him to go. Here. Order him to attack. Place the cursor over an insect and use the right mouse button to initiate an attack. Okay. If you lose sight of the enemy, select the notification again. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go, Connor. Oh, look at him go. So kill the overgrown insects if you lose. Oh, okay. Mate, Connor's got heaps of health by the looks of it. Are we able to observe these now? Currently unavailable. Alright. Connor, I think one got away. <coughs> One got away, mate. There we go. Well done. Inspecting the health. With the danger out of the way, it's time to turn your attention to healing the sick and injured. For the purpose of this tutorial, your fight, your fighter Connor, has sustained more damage than he normally would have, causing him to lose consciousness. Oh my God! From the pain and faint. He will be rescued by another survivor and brought to a bed for treatment. While Connor is being rescued, let's inspect his wounds and get more information about his, their, their effects and treatments. Then get the sick Mackie up from bed to do the actual treatment as she has the highest healing skill. Oh my god! Alright, so who's on the way? Mackie is on the way. She's going to come and get you. So... Connor has an injury, right, so what has he got? Oh my god, he's bleeding 5 per hour, don't know what that means. He's got a superficial bite, treatment doesn't require medicines. Oh my gosh, he has bitten off flesh on his right foot, bitten off flesh on his left leg, oh my gosh. 
So he's pretty, pretty sick. Oh, I see his health keeps going down. Come on, move, 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 Mackie, let's go. Faster, faster. Um, let's see. So, are you treating him automatically? You are, that's awesome. What's wrong with her? Oh, she's got pneumonia. That's not good. Okay. Select Mackie and use the wait for treatment action. Wait for treatment. Okay, now that you've instructed Mackie not to wait for treatment, she will get up from bed and take on activities as usual. While she is getting the needed medicine and treating the injured Connor, let's try to find a way to heal her too. You only have healing balm and bandages which work for in in injuries. But not illness. You need to find first aid kits. Okay, let's do scavenging. Alright, let's try. Oh, Raka's doing the scavenging. That's good. I wonder if I can queue this up. Let's see, we need 10 kits. Scavenge those, scavenge these. What is that? Flying reptile? Hang on a second. Wait a second. Whoa. An unknown species. That's cool. Oh, is he eating? Oh, what is that? A red feathered bird. Oh my gosh, she looks like a vulture. So this, this guy's come down to eat these corpses. Well, if we could do anything with them, I would. <laughs> Alright. Select Mackie and use the wait for treatment action. There we go. If Connor is still recovering, you can select him, hover the cursor over Mackie and give the direct order. No, he... Uh... I mean, I think, I think he's okay. Is he? To heal her by pressing heal Mackie. Oh, I, oh, I see. Oh, he's doing it already. Okay, there we go. He's doing it. All right, so we've got laser pistols. Kinda. Mate, you're up again, dude. Um, how did I do that again? I had to go here. No equipment. That's right. Oh, I see. Go laser pistol. Select Raka and get the... Oh no, why are we under attack again? Select the pulse rifle. Is that what I do? The second pistol. Select the aggressive animals notification to locate the enemies. Oof. Oh, Mackie, you better flee, yeah. Oh no, is she getting hit? Oh no, they've backed off. What's wrong with her now? Oh god, she's been bitten on the leg. Run, Mackie, run! Run, 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 dude! Oh man. Did Connor equip the laser? Hang on. Mate, I need you to equip the laser pistol, Connor. Oh my god, Mackie. I mean, what's his name? Rucker, you can't sleep, dude. You need to... You need to kill these guys. <laughs> Miss, too dark. Oh, jeez. 
Alright. Here we go. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Here they all come. Oof. Nice. Alright. Okay, mental health and physical health is important. Happiness is based on their pleasures and troubles. The background of their portrait gives a visualization of the happiness. Okay. Select a survivor. Connor, how are you? Open the happiness tab. Inspect the eight on foot trouble. Eight on foot. Tables with chairs. Have you heard of those? <laughs> Alright. Let's make a table. Near the shelter. Let's... Okay. And place three chairs around the table. There we go. Oh, this time those bugs stayed around. Last time we got a new, whole new shelter and everything. Okay. Need to do cooking from local ingredients. Select the stockpile and inspect the emergency rations. Notice how they don't miss any happiness effect. Okay, select the campfire and add a cooked emergency ration for production. Quick recipes, cooked emergency ration. Mark the dead overgrown insect near the landing pod for butchering. Okay, can I do that with the rest? Let's butcher them all. Yeah, before those birds come down and eat them again. <laughs> Alright, select the campfire and add meat soup for production. Set the soup production to until 2. There we go. Go back to the main info panel and move the soup task to the top of the production list. There we go. Your survivors will eventually want to have some food variety. Alright, some can be harmful. Just, you can forbid their consumption. Okay. Select a survivor and open the restrictions tab. Alright, raw food. Ensuring a steady supply of cooked food is of, of essence. So relying solely on scavenged rations and occasional hunting is not recommended for the long run. Your survivors have already observed the local glitter caps and gained enough knowledge to farm them. Ooh, that's good. Let's place a farm immediately. I like this. Okay. Farming. Food crops. Glitter caps. Okay. Let's do it. How big does this need to be? Six by five? That'll do. I think. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> Have a survivor selected. Give them a direct order to cut. Small broadleaf tree. Oh. You just like right click. No, I think I'm doing it incorrectly. Maki. Survivor is selected. Place the cursor over a small broadleaf tree. That's this one, right? Oh, bush. My bad. Okay. Cut. Okay, got you. Direct orders. Oh, this is like um, RimWorld in the activities menu. Open the activities menu. 
Okay, forbid the cook activity for the survivor with the lowest cooking skill. So it's cook. Oh well. You've got, whoopsie. Um, who's got what? I don't know. Cook, how do I find out? Okay, so Rucker has only a two, so they're going to forbid that. Set the harvest and plant activities to one for the survivor with the highest farming skill. Let's see. Uh, harvest and plant, is it? So Mackie has heart the highest one and plant. There we go. Okay, survivors were relaxed in their free time by taking a walk or simply sitting for a while. I need a punching pole. Okay, sounds lovely. Harvest at least 20 skin bark. A big purple plant. Okay, big purple plant. There we are. I wonder if I can just say harvest this. That might be easiest. <laughs> Too easy. Okay. So Mackie's off harvesting these. Have we observed these yet? must have. That's them there. Skin bark. Outside ambient temperature 16 it's decaying. Raw cork like material can be processed into veggie leather on a workbench. Oh that's cool. Okay select our workbench and craft at least 20 veggie leather. Veggie leather. Um... It's production. Survivors craft 10 veggie leather at a time, so you can set its production to times two. Got you. So, who's doing this one? Probably nobody. Maybe if I manage the tasks, what would that be? Construction. Oh, he's got a really high construction. What's that? Oh, meat soup. How can I set this as a priority? No, I can't. Oh, maybe it's because it's night time. That makes sense. Oh, now they're working? Okay. She's not very happy. Maybe she'll be happier after she gets some sleep. Okay, I'm just waiting for them to craft that now. Beautiful. Alright. Build a punching pole close to the shelter. There we go. Awesome. Managing the schedule. Okay. Oh yeah, anything relax, work, sleep. Uh, let's do relaxation just before you go to bed. How about that? Okay. I can do the defenses tutorial if I want. I'm just going to go back to the main menu. Um... I'm not sure if I need that. I think I want to just get going. Let's go back to the main menu. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it here, guys. I'm going to start a new game in the next episode. Thanks for watching me struggle through this tutorial. Um, I'm Smox from Celebrant Quest. We will definitely be back with more Stranded Alien Dawn. This looks awesome, this game. 
um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you very soon in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.